What's up everybody? In front of me I have a whole table full of detailing items from Tinu. Everything from bottle and polisher holders to foam cannons and detailing brushes and a few items that I have not seen before personally or have ever used and that's why I picked those up to specifically test those in today's video. Now one of my biggest things for this channel is communicating a lot of value for you guys, right? You don't have to go out and buy the most expensive products to start your detailing business or start getting really good results on your own vehicles. So when Timu reached out to me to sponsor today's video and actually offer a uh, coupon pack up to $100 uh, off their already cheap prices, I figured why not? Let's check out some of these products for you guys. So I'll have a link down in the description that'll take you directly to where you can download the app and actually get that coupon code so you can save even more on anything that you get. So download the Timu app now for exclusive deals and be able to check on new arrivals at any time. Now before we get into these few new items that I've never used before, uh, I want to just go ahead and highlight some of the other products that I obviously have used, I like a lot, and these are uh, items from Timu that are in that similar ballpark. I just wanna give you guys my uh, initial reactions on the quality of these products. All right, so two foam cannons right here, right? These both state that they are a 1.2 millimeter orifice inside. So again, if you're using a pressure washer that doesn't have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, PSI and GPM, switch that out eventually to a 1.1. You're gonna wanna do that. But this foam cannon is super cool. You can tighten down the top as always, you know, everything's normal, regular quarter inch quick connect, but you have this little uh, attachment on the side that you can use to either fill product in, but this is also a measuring cup and it has a 10 mil and a 15 mil uh, marking on it. So you can use that to fill up your product. Tighten this back down. Just really cool. I like the bright color. Seems nice. I have not tested these out yet. I will be testing these out more and more over time. Um, but as far as just looking at the general quality, looks to be, looks to be good. Um, you know, light for a for a foam cannon in this price point, it's right on par. Um, you do have the adjustable uh, spray pattern. It also does change from horizontal to vertical. So really cool items. Both of them, again, 1.2 millimeter uh, orifice inside. This one's just all clear. This one, same deal though. You can turn it uh, vertical and horizontal and the pattern changes. I wanna state uh, this one, um, the straw is a nice soft silicone straw. So really, really cool there. I like that a lot. This one, I did notice something about the quality um, and it's just a, you know, just something that I noticed is that the inside insert here, this nut is actually like a nylon. Uh, it's just a plastic piece versus, you know, usually it's brass or stainless or whatever else. So um, longevity of this one, I don't know. Like I said, we'll test it out over time. Um, but right off the bat, that's just something that I noticed. Now next up, let's talk about two storage solutions right here. So both of these came with uh, the mounting hardware that was needed. So you have uh, you know, wall anchors and the screws. The first one is your bottle organizer. Really, really cool piece here because these parts actually snap off. So you don't have to run these on the front if you don't want to, but it does give you an opportunity to store even more goods, even more product on this. Like as you can see, you could you know, have your bottles storing in that way and then you can have additional ones storing off the front just hanging there, which is a really cool feature. I do like that. Um, this is a nice one. So it's a nice metal construction, not as thick of a gauge as some of the MaxGen ones, but this is absolutely gonna do the job perfectly well. The inserts here are plastic and they actually do just pop out. So if you have a tight fit, you can just pop these out. Let me, there we go. They don't pop out super easy, which is a good thing. You don't want them to come out uh, and get loose, but there's a couple tabs on them. You can take that out and then you have more room. If you don't like the red accents on there, again, just remove these and you're good to go. And like I said, the gauge on this is not as thick as the MaxShine ones, but guys, at a fraction of the price, I think I paid $25 for this one. Um, so it's almost half the cost as the MaxShine ones or the, the uh, Polka Premium ones or whatever else. Um, I love those products, but this, again, if you're getting started, and you want an efficient way to get started without spending your whole entire bank account, this is a great option. And that brings me to another thing, guys. I was doing a little bit of research about Timu, and I realized that uh, a couple of the items, like the brushes we'll get to, I paid different prices for. I looked them back up now, and the prices have changed, and Timu actually has a feature where you can actually get your money back. So within 30 days, you go back on the site, and you see the price has gone lower. You just submit it, and they'll send you a refund for the purchase price to that new price. So you're able to save money that way as well. So really cool, you don't have to worry about, hey, I, is this the best price that I can get now? Get it, monitor it for 30 days, and then just you know cash that back in if you can. Now the other item here is the polisher holder. This one looks super cool, I like it. However guys, it is plastic. So just know that going into it. I did not know that when I bought this. As you can see, there's some flex to it. It's still gonna do the job perfectly well, right? You're just gonna hang it on, to, on your wall, hang your polisher on it. It should be no problem at all. Just something to note, it is plastic, not metal on this one. 
All right, guys, now let's go ahead and get into the brushes because this is something that I was really, really intrigued by. They can get really cheap brushes on Timu without having to pay a crazy, again, brushes, I go through them a lot because you know, you're constantly using them, constantly getting, getting them dirty. Um, so a cheap option would be great. So I ordered a few different ones because they all look to be the same and I wasn't sure, uh, but they were some different prices. So I ordered a bunch and yes, guys, they're like exactly the same, same cover, except for this one. This one came with no cover, uh, but still same, same time uh, brush bristle, very, very soft, very, very nice. I love these for getting in the tight spots along the console, you know, just the edge where things kind of come together, getting there, dusting everything out. These are also great for the exterior of the car because they're so soft. Um, and the cool thing about this, I paid upwards of $2 for one of these and as low as 39 cents, guys. 39 cents for one of these, which is insane. So again, um, I don't know if that kind of price fluctuates across all the brands, but it's one of those things. You can use that redemption offer uh, through Timu where you can go back in and uh, if you see it at a lower price, just submit it and get a new one. Or not get a new one, I'm sorry, get a discount from the original purchase. Just a basic thin plastic sleeve, but the, the threads, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the bristles, I mean, I'm yanking on them. I got one out. That's it. Doesn't seem like they're gonna be a, a big problem of shedding. There may be, right, if you're using a lot of chemical with these things, it may break down whatever it, uh, adhesion is in there and cause them to fray out. But again, guys, at these prices, it's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, next up, we have two other similar items. So you have this one here. You just slide this out of the base and you have this nice, thin, super dense uh, bristle here. Really cool. Again, with these ones where it's really, really dense like this, I like to use this, especially if I'm working on a car from a body shop where there's been uh, compound left in the in the panels between the, between the gaps and they call me in to detail it to get it to the customer. Sometimes that compound, compound can be really hard to get out and having a brush like this where you can get in there and agitate it out, these things are invaluable to me. I love them. You could also use this to apply your dressings to your tires. Um, I, I use other things for that, but that could be a good option. Also this one, because it is a larger brush, uh, just more diameter to it, this one for applying uh, dressings to uh, your tires would be really cool. Obviously not your, your big mud terrain, all terrain tires, but your normal everyday tires, this thing could be fantastic for that. So I'm really excited to play with that one more. Then we just have a couple more items I wanna to touch on really quickly, guys. I got this little little brush here, right? This is great for either upholstery or for cleaning up your tires when you spray on a degreaser or uh, to get all that dirt and everything that's embedded into the, the sidewall of your tire out. Use your cleaner, agitate with this. It's not overly stiff just a good amount to be able to pull all that stuff out. And then finally, we do have a little wheel kit that I got. Now this uh, wheel brush, very, very common style wheel brush. I personally don't use these ones that much because they can fling back, but they do have this guard on it, which is fantastic. So really, really cool. You can also bend it to be able to get it behind the spokes. So I like that a lot. Um, again, just a phenomenal value. I think, I can't remember off the top of my head, but around $7 I paid for this along with a flag tipped brush. It's not the softest one, um, so you'd wanna be careful if you have a regular alloy wheel, or whatever, you're gonna be fine. But if it's a painted black or painted wheel, um, I probably wouldn't go with this one just cause it's a little bit stiffer for that. And then you do get an assortment of one, two, three, four, five different sizes of regular brushes. Um, now this is a synthetic hair. Uh, it's not a boar's hair brush or anything like that, so it's a little bit stiffer, but again, for the wheels, Fantastic, getting in around the lug nuts and all that. Also, these are strong enough, but also not too strong where you could use these on some you know, uh, interior components as well. And now let's go ahead and move into all the new stuff. Guys, this is the stuff I'm super excited about. Um, number one, this guy here, a super power turbo fan. And these things I've seen online. Um, and a friend of mine actually told me about these and I haven't been able to find them here. I've seen like Instagram ads and things like that, but um, this one, I was super excited when I saw it on Timu. I was like, I have to get this really, really cool little fan here. So you just have two buttons basically on this. You have one button on the back, one button on the front. The, uh, all the on off operation and switching between um, your, your, um, different power settings is all on the back. And then the one in the front here is just your trigger. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. See, lights up, you have the blue lights there. All three are lit up, so that's our highest power. This little thing blows incredibly hard. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. But for the size of this thing, it's pretty impressive. Now this is not something that you're gonna use to, uh, to blow off your whole car or dry it or anything like that. 
However, using it on your interiors, especially guys, when you're using those interior brushes and you need a little bit more help, just having this so compact, you can even just leave this in your car and just use it to blow out areas. I mean, it's really, really nice. Like here's the box, right? Here, okay. I mean, pretty good for a thing this size, right? Really, really impressive. Turbo fan, this is the Model X3, 3000 milliamp hour battery. Um, yeah, just a really cool thing. You can actually downgrade it. You can click that once or twice, brings down the power. This is on setting one. It's quite soft now. So I would use this only at power number three personally, but um, I think it's a really cool little, little tool. Next up, we have a double turbo nozzle. And I'm looking at, so usually with turbo nozzles, you can kind of shake them and hear a ball bearing in there. I'm not hearing anything with this one. You look inside and it does look to be plastic in interior components, um, but still really, really nice rubber sleeve on this. It feels like it's really good quality. Um, and it looks like to be a stainless backing piece. Now brass on the other inserts or internals of the actual turbo nozzles. But we're gonna take this outside and play with this. And then finally, this nozzle here as well. Now what this is, is a drain cleaning nozzle for sewage, I guess. And what it does is it sprays one pattern out this way, and then it also spreads, sends a fan backwards. And my whole thought press on, process on this was, this could be really, really cool for cleaning the inside of a wheel without removing it, right? You spray in your chemical, stick this on your nozzle through the wheel, spray and it'll spray backwards. So I figured let's test that out as well. So let's go ahead and hop outside, plug these things into a uh, pressure washer and test them out. All right guys, so a few things I wanna do, right? I wanna prep this wheel. Uh, we're just gonna go through the cold cleaning process using these items from Timu. Um, now, the dual uh, sided uh, power nozzle, turbo nozzle, that's not something I usually use on a car. If you're gonna use it anywhere, a turbo nozzle would be on the wheels or in the wheel well. So we'll test that just on the ground and then also up in the wheel well to break everything loose. Then we'll go through and actually clean the wheel surface and tire surface using Kokemi's Alkali Wheel Cleaner. Um, this one in particular is currently diluted at one to three. Um, I'll go ahead and hit all of that. We'll agitate the tire with this brush that I got and then we'll clean everything else up using the wheel, uh, wheel brushes as well. Dry it off using our little blower here. And then um, before we dry it off though, we will test out this nozzle to see if it is effective at cleaning behind these areas. Or if I'm just gonna splash myself all over the place with it. I don't know yet. All right guys, now I've also got the double turbo nozzle, which is just insane. Ooh, okay, we've got a leak here. So let me see if I can address this without having to do anything else. Woo, this thing is powerful. We do have leaks though. So that's a bit of a bummer, but just to show you the cleaning ability. That's pretty cool. It's very, very cool. Uh, it's definitely something that you wanna unassemble and then put in some thread seal tape and all that kind of stuff. Um, Again, because it's not an ideal car detailing item, I'm not gonna go through that whole thing right now. I do think it's really cool, especially for these areas, especially on the, the trucks where there's carpeted uh, fender wells, which are an absolute nightmare. But let's go ahead and move on. I'm gonna put the regular 40 degree nozzle back on this. We're gonna take the alkali wheel cleaner. We're gonna go ahead and apply it to the wheel and tire. And then we're gonna let it dwell for a few minutes. Um, I really love this stuff for getting the blooming out of the tire though. All that brown out of there. Now, because I wanna try and clean the back of the wheel as well, um, or at least, you know, make sure that I'm properly rinsing everything from the back of the spokes, that's where this little tool comes in. And again, I don't know if this is gonna be effective for car detailing or not, but I thought it was a really cool tool to just check out. Now, before I agitate the wheel, I want to let that settle and really pull all the dirt and everything out of there first. The tire is doing a good job of pulling things out right now. I'm gonna load up my brush a little bit more. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and get in here and apply it and really pull out all that dirt and grime from this. This is an interesting thing about these Ram Rebels as well, is that they do ship them with the white letters, um, which I think is a cool little, kind of a, a cool feature. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, I'm sort of neither here nor there with it, um, but I do think that you need to keep them properly clean because once those letters start to yellow or brown or whatever else, it starts to make it look bad. So 
Um, you just gotta make sure you keep them clean and I think it looks pretty cool. All right, now that that's sat long enough, we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna get the inner barrel of the wheel. Again, you just get in there, agitate. You're using the chemical and now you do see it flinging back. That's why I don't like these stiff bristled brushed out ones as much as I like some of the other ones. But again, the value here is hard to beat. So just work your way around it. Now I have my, my uh, bristled brush, this little flag tip. Again, this is a little stiffer than I would want for this wheel, but because it's a, uh, you know, a satin finish, darker, um, almost, almost flat wheel, it should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an, an effort. It doesn't feel like it's too hard. Um, again, I did load up more chemical on it and I did saturate the uh, bristles, so it shouldn't be too bad here. Um, it's doing actually just a fine job. So we're gonna work our way around all of the spokes, make sure we're getting everything nice and loosened. So as you can see guys, this foam is looking pretty dirty. So that's a good thing. Uh, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and take this little brush here. Again, they give us a whole selection of them. I just like to make it a little bit wet before and then go in around the lug nuts to make sure I get all this stuff good to go. Now we have nothing left to do, but go ahead and rinse the tire and wheel. So we're gonna do that and then plug in the last piece to go in behind the wheel. All right, guys, so the whole wheel surface and tire surface is all clean. You can see the white letters are really popping now, looking really good. But let's go ahead and hook up an extension and hook up this uh, sewage cleaning piece. Now, again, guys, I don't really know what to expect, so I'm gonna pull this away. Yeah, so <laughs> it was basically one out and I think six coming back at me. So we're gonna stick this in here. Oh my God, okay. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh. That's kind of cool. All right guys, so that was actually a pretty cool feature. Um, I'm kind of pumped on that. So it wasn't, if you just stick it in and fire, it's gonna spray back at you. But if you stick it in and angle it behind one of the spokes, it puts out a ton of water and a ton of pressure in all directions in there and does a really good job. So you just kind of have to work with it around the angle. There's a nice kind of rubberized, it's a hard, harder plastic piece here, but that's gonna keep your wheel a little bit safer. Just be careful when you use it, but I do like it. Um, something that I'll probably be implementing in my business on occasion, not on every wheel, but um, I think there's definitely a place for that. All right, now we got this whole thing all done, right? Let's go ahead and take our dryer here. Let's see if this can dry a full tire. Uh, I don't know if this is fully charged. I got it out of the box and just started to go with it. So here we go. I mean, all right guys, so this is definitely something, I mean, it's definitely helping the process here for sure, but definitely something that I would use more on the interior than the exterior. Other than like around the uh, mirrors and things like that, you can get in there and blow out some water. But as far as drying off a big area like that, there's more efficient ways to do it. For example, all right guys, so that's all set. Uh, last thing to do is dress the tire. So we're gonna go ahead and try out this brush here, the one I was telling you about. Um, let's just see, I, I don't want to, uh, now obviously I already mentioned, probably not the best for all-terrain tires like this that have a lot of grooves in the side. But what better test, right, to really see. So we're gonna take Aquashine. This is a car, uh, tire dressing from a local company to me that makes fantastic products. I love this stuff. Um, so. I'll, again, I'll have all links to all this stuff in, down in the description for you guys. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it right into the bristles of the brush, okay? And just see how it applies. Wow, I mean, it's <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's almost, it's like having a paintbrush and just literally painting on tire dressing. Really, really smooth, really, really nice. Now, because I did load up those bristles, when you go over the larger spots, it did fling a bit. 
But um, if you just work the flat areas first and then come back over those areas, then it's no issue. And it's looking really, really good. So again, now that I don't have so much on the, on the, uh, in the bristles, I'm gonna go over these letters, just work it in all around them. And then we'll go on to some more larger areas again. All right guys, so that's it. Some awesome products from Timu, some extreme budget friendly, money saving items that you can use for your detailing business or just for your home use as you detail your own cars. I gotta say some were better hits than others. Again, that little uh, dual nozzle, turbo nozzle did spray out for me, but again, simple fix. Just tape that up with some Teflon tape. You should be good to go. I think everything was super cool. Again, this little bottle holder, fantastic. Uh, and all the brushes, guys, obviously those are no brainers for me. Um, I go through a lot of them and the fact that they're that cheap, it's a win-win. So thank you again to Timu for sponsoring today's video. And remember to download the app. All users can get a $100 coupon bundle to save more money. Just search the code DMM8727 in Timu, or you can click the link down in the below and you can do it that way, super simple. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.